So we're back. I am back, uh, to say the least. Back to take six like core on another adventure. I have been completely absent recently, just due to finishing various projects before the holidays, and then also Christmas preparations came in early. I was hosting, I was cooking, and also accommodating my sister and my niece who came visiting from Denmark over here in Ireland. So there was a lot to take care of. And I'd already recorded this episode. I just never got to finish it right before everything took off. So here we are. Just did this monologue here today after Christmas. But the recording was made before Christmas. And I am straight on to recording the next episode. I just need to clean up this episode. And then I am finally back on to recording the next one. So hopefully I'll get that out to you here before the end of the year. But no promises kept. Um, I will also relax a bit more. I've had the winter flu as many other people and on top of that it's been fairly busy but i'm in good health now and i'm ready to engage with morrowind i've been looking forward to it so let's jump right into it hello and welcome back to this tender moment in sings like Core's life we are in this in caldera in this lovely house in caldera i have been a little bit under the weather uh, recently just probably just to burn out from december rushing a lot of projects not this stuff here this stuff is like spare time um activity but other things that have kind of kept me a little bit distracted including lying down taking some rest which was quite nice i admit even though i also really wanted to play this and get back into the um, the routine of releasing these small episodes because it is quite fun but regardless of it Save i have a words. we will in a moment's time I have um, a few things coming up. Obviously, I talked about a video that I am planning to release quite soon that has also been shelved. Why it is that I have just taken the time to probably, probably nothing. stop coughing and um, but I am more or less okay. And very excited to be back here. Very excited to be engaging with this scamp over here in the corner. And this orc guy is also, he's in our way, of course, Say but your words. we appreciate his presence as well. So, I just want to get my bearings for a moment, because it, well, it is a while since we did this, and there might be something that I have neglected in terms of quests. There usually is, and that is why... Oh, yes, we did all of this errand stuff where we were delivering some gold to various trade no actually we got some gold from various traders and we were looking to save up to buy a levitation spell and we're very short on cash but i would like to see if we could potentially talk to creeper i don't know what a scamp sounds like but i know you can talk to this one here and let's see what kind of voice would that be <clears throat> I'm creeping. Okay, you're creeping. Very good. Barter. Oh, that's it. Very well. Okay, that's what he... Um, and he's got great capacity in terms of cash. So, wow. And also, just while we are looking at all of these things that we'd like to sell, including this expense... Oh, he doesn't buy that thing. Oh, so... Before I continue talking let's just sort this what will he buy from us will he buy our journeyman's calcinator will he buy no we're not selling those obviously because we need them dance in the f in fire he won't buy that as well okay um maybe some potions what do we need to sell uh, 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 uh. that was what we were talking about last time there's not really much that we want to Sal is there. Right, it feels like we're straight back into it. Let me see. Ice cap. Yes, he will actually take that. That's wonderful. And it's a pity he won't take this expensive ring because it is expensive after all. He could he could benefit from the transaction. Um, uh, we have a few ingredients, but I do want to try playing a bit with the alchemy uh, gameplay just to see if we're missing out on something. But anyways, what does he sell? Ancient Dagoth brandy. Cyrodiilic brandy, obviously. Flynn, Grief, Matste, Shane, let's call it that. Skuma, Sujama, 
and Gwarskin drum. So not a lot of useful items, but um, he will purchase a few of our things from us. And this, we wanted to sell this as well. Um, so that he will accept. So we've got, yes, we're getting closer, 425. Let's try to see if we can up that up a bit. Oh, no, offers refused. Perfect. I'm creeping, thank you. Please come again. Perfect. Okay, so, and they've been feeding him with various animals here. I wonder what those could be, or people. Um, people are animals as well. Men and myrrh, beast folk. Right, um, back to reality. Things like Kor's reality. Um, there's a few things he needs to sort before I go on Christmas break. And one of them is a levitation spell. We I would like to see him acquire that before I send him on a break. Ooh, just for a bit, not too long, hopefully. Um, I would like to make another episode just before New Year's. Uh, but um, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Oh, I know we're gonna wait in here. And do you mind Say if- Say your needs. Things like chorus. Do you mind if I sleep on the floor, or if we sleep on the floor, just next to this broom? We'll do that. Resting here is illegal. Well, not in here with these lovely people. It isn't. See, no one came and arrested us. We're fine. Let's go out. Oi! Well, let's hope that it's a short convective shower, which it is, so we don't have to. Wait any further. And that cliff racer up there is luckily returning back from where it came. Great, let's go and have a look here at the town of Caldera. Any time now. Okay, so we need point and purpose and hopefully a point and purpose or hopefully something that can help us gain money. I just again played Starfield and my character finally got up into up around 600,000 credits which is the currency in Starfield and here we are at a meager 674 here we are hustling and we will prevail in one way or form I'm sure there are a few quests here in Caldera but it requires us to go and speak with people I'd rather just trace through what we have done and what we potentially haven't done um, do you know what? I know what we can do. Because a few episodes ago, we met a red guard who was in need of assistance. Well, I don't know what she needed, but she is along the road to Aldrun. So, no, oh, Belmora. Wait. Oh, we're walking south then. Okay, wrong way. No, on the road towards Aldrun. That's where we met a woman who was in need of help and we we're gonna we're gonna go out and try to see if we can't find her somewhere it in the wilderness unwell, unhealthy. oh that's because we're fatigued probably perpetually uh, incapacitated and tired so we'll probably have to leave the town of Caldera and um, just try to see if it is possible to rest here? Nope, still not. Oh, no, still not. Oh, still not. Christ, the border of this town stretches far and beyond. No, still not. Maybe wouldn't we? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Oh, and already we are encountering a Nick sound. I have actually. Do you know what? I am enjoying using these fireballs. Wow, this Nick's... Oy! The speed... Oh, God. It really wanted to get me. But luckily, things like core is fast. Notoriously fast. So... Again, he's getting to where he felt like he was before he came to this strange land. Um, but he's... Wait, let's just rest a bit. Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay, let's see if we can't get him this time. So what went wrong? The assassin did something to us. He struck us once and that somehow 
we paid the price for that we definitely did so let me try to see if we can perhaps summon the ancestral ghost to help us if anything oh we don't have another magicka so let's try and that's one thing that i have to get used to and can we just have one more because we're pretty thirsty there we go perfect okay so we've got that sorted and what was it that Dunmar were immune to this i think that was fire okay so we were going to use this shock spell or let's just use frost that's a kind of bad joke yes we got him perfect yeah, I think that was the problem last time. I depended heavily on the use of a fire spell when it was that I should have done this. And... Ooh... Can we carry the last bit without getting over encumbered? Are we just... Ah! Oh, we're just one item too many. So let's eat some rat meat. It has no effect on us. This is great. Because we are Argonian and we have 100% immunity to poison, which is wonderful. Great. Isn't that wonderful, actually? So we can... I don't know if learning ingredients work the same way in Morrowind as it does in Oblivion and Skyrim, where you're learning the effects of ingredients by eating them. But, um, oi, we're dangerously close to dying as well. Oi! And here we are again. Attacked by something else. Oh! That just means that we have to heal again. Aye, there's a. Oh, wow! Okay! You are all interested in me and my flesh. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, what do we do here? First and foremost. A few of these, yeah. Definitely. Okay. Greater Frostball. We can do this. Things like Core, we can do this. crap nice and we've got more stuff to loot okay we'll come back for your corpses I eventually we're leaving death and destruction in our wake okay just gonna sip my ginger lemon tea here with oat milk I can highly recommend that by the way I know a few people are precious about their herbal teas and this is a very simple one this is the one that you buy in the tea bags but just Putting a splatter of oat milk, it doesn't have to be sweetened, um, into the tea, just makes it nice and creamy. And the taste is nice and creamy as well. So, okay. I will just, for a moment, get an overview of... Oh, Creeper. Let's try to see if Creeper will actually buy things from us. And because he's a scamp, we can kind of assume that he is able to purchase items from us in the lure yes. of the night he's up a night a child of the night very good okay do you by any chance oh yes 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 and but not that yes and yes we could also sell him what we have because this is in poor condition so if i say cancel and then potentially sell the Dark Brotherhood outfit. Just have to see what's the condition on the things that we have just gotten. Everything is up to standard. So let's just sell what it is that we have. And... Ah. I'm getting more confident now. Okay. Hello, Kandera. I'm here all week. 
Oh, <laughs> I can actually see him say that. Oh, why did I notice that to begin with? Okay, that's very, that's really adorable. Okay, oh yeah, sorry, we can't wear boots, so let's sell the boots. I completely forgot about that. And obviously we can't weld the helmet as well. So, um, hello, Ald hello, Kildera. I am here all week. That would be a great sign to put us there. Help me out, I need the money. <laughs> Oh no, poor guy, uh, don't we all, it's us who need the money, seriously, we're not joking, okay, thank you, please come again, okay, we will, don't worry, thank you creeper, <laughs> oh, it's just brilliant, say your business, say your business, we will, okay, so we have more stuff to loot out in the wilderness, and we'll get back to the lot of ye, about any other intricacies and any other important things. We are walking towards a rune. Oh no, we're walking towards Belmora again. And, um. Which is a common mistake. Well, I don't know if it is, but. It has happened to me a few times now. I'm not proud of it. If you haven't noticed, of course. If you look down in the lower right corner, there is a little mini map. And. That is very helpful. Especially if you're tracking over an area that's quite large. So, I think that we're gonna help that woman, of course, uh, along the path here. And as we just saw, stepping too far from civilization also has its dangers and uh, perpetual dangers. So, but which is, this is also lovely because now we have all this wonderful stuff that we can sell now. And holy... Oh, can we just manage to get the last bit? No, it seems like we have to eat a bit more rat meat if we have. Yeah, we do have that. Okay, maybe I need to eat something else. Something that doesn't cost salt tries. No, not that. Something that weighs... Yeah, kagudi hide. We can actually eat a piece of hide, which... Granted, in Skyrim you can eat giant's toad. This is um, not something I ever thought about being a possibility. I'm not going to pick up that now, but we'll do so later. We should actually thank the headquarters of Dark Brotherhood for having a large disposal of various assassin agents. So, we'll rest in a bit after we've just gotten in and sold these items. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They're very protective of this town because there are quite a few guards here. Um, come to think of it, the imperial presence around here is quite strong, just in general, uh, throughout this game. Like I just didn't remember it because I usually the ordinators, um, the Dunmer yes. guards, are the ones that say your business. stuck the most with me. Okay, Creeper. Yes. We've got more stuff. Let's see what you have to say. Come on, help the scamp out. You gotta need something. I've got booze. Ooh, we know that. Um, we're not interested in the booze, unfortunately. Uh, could you perhaps... Could we interest you with an iron spider dagger? We could definitely. Um, you are willing to accept that from us. We're very, very happy about that. I... Everything is in good condition, so let's just sell what we got there. I hope I haven't sold something that I needed. I don't think so. Glass jink blade. Is that better than our claymore? No, not really. Well, depends. This is one-handed. This is two-handed, so that will be faster. But um, I say we're pretty good. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Hold on there. So we are about to sell him stuff for more than what he has in cash. That means that we'll have to take some of it away. But we just need to take the um, pauldron away. So I think that's it. I will just try it. 
it's not much, but um, perfect. Thank you. Please come again. Great. Great. We have enough money to buy a levitation spell. That's wonderful. We sorted that quite quickly. So let us go to Mage's Guild. And I think what would be ideal is that yeah. we just travel back and buy a levitation spell and then we can hopefully engage with Master Neloth. I can spare a few moments. No need to. Oh, uh, we welcome. Got is in it friend. Okay, so no. Okay, you were in the way. Uh, there's a complete set of alchemy tools upstairs, but I think they're a bit too advanced An for... An adventurer, I presume. Yes, you presume correctly. Era Amian. Era Amian. Where is... Ah, greetings. What shall we talk about? We should talk about travel, Emilia. And um, we know that you are a guild guide and that you'll be able to help us with that. So, we would like to go to... Aldru, because that's where we could buy a teleportation spell. Thank you so much. And hello, Erinel. Thank you for facilitating our arrival. Now, let's go and just catch up with... I don't remember his name. He's in here. Is it a, a fellow Argonian? Are you wounded? You should find a healer. We are Orent. But um, we've got other things to think about first. We will heal ourselves, actually, come to think of it, it now that we can. Something. Oh, we've what already used that ask? power. It asks for... Nope, fail casting spell. There we go. And now we just need to have our magic assorted. But first, Himla. Welcome to Aldrun, since I core. New here? If so, I can tell you what services are available and where. We would. Uh, that was a Khajiit voice more than an Argonian voice for sure. But, anyways, hard to balance that out. Spells. Emla, we know that you are in the possession of a levitation spell. So, while wow, levitate. Perfect. Nice. Thank you so much. Greater shock ball. It's so easy to just want to spend money when you have it. But, uh. We might find something that will... Ooh, wait a second. No, do you know what? I like the ancestral ghost, ancestral ghost very much um, at this moment. But he's got some really good spells, or very useful ones at least. So let's see here for a moment. Mm. Light... I'm not sure I've ever seen a situation, well, so far so good. I can remember a situation where that was needed. Um, burden on target. Something, restore, restore, restore. Bone walker, least bone walker. That doesn't sound very enticing, does it? Do you we'll buy the greater shock uh, spell. Welcome to our room, seems like core. Welcome to Aldrun, sings like core. New here? Hmm? If so, I can tell you what services are available and where. Okay, Hemla, thank you so much. Will we close the door? No, oh, we won't. He likes it open. Okay. So let's go back here. And, uh, oh. We are in the city of Aldrun. Ask your question quickly. Not a question we have for you, Louis, but we do have... So we've encountered a few clothiers here. I want to Im imagine Aldrun as being the fashion capital of Vadenfell. You know, for the fun of it. So let's go and... Gets a hat for things like Kor. I think it's very important that he feels general merchant merchandise doesn't sound too enticing. I'd make it quick. Terasadis. But I would like to get rid of this pauldron here. And let's see if we can just push it a bit up. Let's try actually and going above and beyond. Perfect. 
Oh, he has a little work here as well. Or perhaps would you be interested in doing a little work for me? Oh, thank you again. You handled the affair very well. Oh, that was concerning um, Ineas. We don't need to do that again. And... Let's go here, Smith. No. And what time is it? Again, I don't want to... It's 4 a.m., so... We could entertain ourselves for the next four hours until all the shops, um, all the shopkeepers are, are, are awake. That's part of the role-playing aspect. Or we could just go in here, snuck up in a corner inside on the scar, and rest a bit. We'll do that over here. We'll pretend knowing is watching us sleeping out in the open. So let's go outside now. Hopefully it'll be bright and sunny. Yeah, well, it's overcast. And we've got... What's that? An east-west alignment of the Elder Stratus clouds. Okay. Oh, look at that cliff razor up there. Dangerously close. Dangerously close. Okay. Biven. We have been here before. A little work, we just want to hear that you were grateful for what we did and said thank you again, you handled the affair very well. Thank you so much, Biman. Do you have something for the head? Common shirt. Ah uh, I think she was one of mm, common amulet, no. What do you want of me, Outlander? A hat. But we do not have we can't find that here in your shop. And I think we did check with the other clothier. And I don't think that she had. Bivalve. That's it, yes. Bival. I don't think that she had one. So we just want to check one more time. That's it. Speak, traveler. May I help you, Outlander? Uh, we were trying to sell that atrocious um, helmet that we got from... Uh, what was his name? The barbarian that was paralyzed. Since we have the money, we might as well just buy an expensive amulet. We will get an enchanted amulet at some point. An extravagant ring surely wouldn't be going that far, would we? Is it possible maybe we can get it for 27 since we helped you? Oh yeah, that's fine. 27 is absolutely fine. We'll cut three drakes off it. Okay, sorry. Ooh, lovely chairs. Ah, oh, this would be lovely. I'd love to have these for Christmas. Um, to have all the people sitting down on these and just, you know, getting around the table. Okay, Outlander, but make it quick. Okay, let's see here for a moment. Let's go outside. Okay, let's engage with some Talvani wizards. I'm sure they are looking forward to engaging with us as well. They've heard of this new member of the Tilvani who has meteorically risen through uh, society or through the house, through the ranks of the faction. So now they're eager to hear and see him in person to experience the phenomenon known as things like core. Ah, welcome. What is it, friend? Nothing for now, Orent. So we are leaving our scholarly background a bit for a while, of course. We will return to Mage's Guild, and some of you noticed, noted in the comments, uh, that can give us a bit of, a few complications the if we... Indignity of it all. The indignity of it all. Uh, absolutely, we couldn't have said it better. It is so true, what Aaron was just saying. The indignity of it all. The whole thing of having to choose or to put down your moral anchor at times just so it is that you want to change the world. And at times, you have to lie in order to get what you want. Um, things like Kor, that is kind of that is slowly becoming his philosophy. But... Um, welcome, friend. The day is yours. What should we talk about? Uh, that is a great... Welcome, friend. The day is yours. What should we talk about? Ariel, despite you completely ripping us off when we purchased <laughs> that stuff from you, you're all right. You're actually all right. Um, the day is yours. Yes. Hello. Skillion, that's it. The day is yours. Indeed it is. Mm. 
Teil ist nice. Okay. Let's go out here. I have... think I have words to say about this wagon or thing, but I actually don't. So, let's proceed. Um... Any time now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's test this levitation spell out. Because obviously we do have... Oh, okay. That is eating at our magicka. We need more magicka for that. Okay. Um, let's see. No? Okay. Interesting. Will... Let's see. Does willpower affect... Uh, that... Okay, so... Okay, so let's see how much do you require. One to fifty points. So my question is, one to fifty points for thirty seconds. Does, but that does not correspond also to the amount of magicka available. Because then we would have enough. We just use all of our magicka. So there's something there that I don't fully understand. Intelligence, that is the maximum amount of a magicka. So if we do have a fortify intelligence, will that potentially give us some ma extra magicka to play with? Or maybe if we found a fortify... Is there a fortify magicka? I can't remember. There's fortify health, there should be fortify magicka. Um, yeah, there's fortify health. I'm sure there's fortify... Magica. Okay, so it's not as straightforward as that. Interesting. Um, Trendus Drawl's house. I just want to see who Trendus is. Oh, you're right. Make it quick. Hello. Things like course. Oh, he's getting closer. Hello, we can't go further back, Tendrus. Um, very intense, Dunmer. Um, because things like course, obviously, um, intrigued, but also mystified by. Okay. Yes, things like or I'm ten trenches drills. Go ahead, I'm sure you have questions. We do. Um, what's your trade? I'm a commoner. Oh, okay. Trenches, um hopefully our paths will cross in some matter at some point, but for now we'll leave you alone. Um we just walk into a complete stranger's house, so he's bound to be a bit startled and maybe also threatening. Blessing, Sarah. Thank you. Pirlet, I remember you. We chatted as well. You've got quite a few potions, so hopefully we can get some from you. And we've got decent amount of capital, so let's just see if we can't find something. Restore intelligence, something tells me that we might need that. We don't need disease resistance, or we it's not vital for us at least. Exclusive restore fatigue. That might come in handy. We've got the money. We should also spend some of the money on training. I am quite aware of that. Also, just otherwise we'll be stuck um, at this level here where we are at. Cure of paralyzation. Cure paralyzation. Dispel shock resistance. Restore magic. Restore health. Restore endurance. Reflect. Mm, fortify magicka, let's try that. Fortify health. Cheat, fortify fatigue. Restore willpower. Light. Agility. Um, int no, that's restore intelligence. We already have one of those. Okay, so I guess that's what we have for now. Hmm. Okay, and I'm just gonna check what we need. I think we need a calcineer for our alchemical set, our own personal alchemical set. And we have skooma pipe, calcinator, and what was the last bit that we had? Oh, we already have a calcinator, so we don't need that. Okay, so what we need is mortar and pestle. That was it. And let's just buy an alembic for the fun of it. You're walking away with quite a bit of our gold pilette, but 
Let's see if we can get it down a bit. Maybe to 30? No, offers refused. There we go. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. And let's try to see what happens if we actually... What's the last item that we need? We have motor and pedal. Where is our Alembic? I'm just gonna try and go in. What happens if we use this? Okay. Uh, cure paralyzation. Fortify intelligence. There we have it. So is there anything else that can go with that? It would be interesting if we found some other ingredients that could help us fortify intelligence. It might also be that we just have to go with using potions for a while until we're we've progressed enough but let's try and see what happens let's see what options that we have here fortified personality i really don't know what happens so let's call this leo for some odd reason the potion failed okay oi so you lose the ingredients as well oh bummer as you say in america um, that's not nice. Okay, I'm definitely going to be scared from doing that ever again. Great, okay. Mm. I guess they need to have matching effects in order for a potion to be created, which is understandable. That's how it works in all the other games as well. So what we need to do is, yeah, go and look at our options around town. But there's another person down here who sells potions. We could get a levitation potion. Uh, don't I know you from somewhere? I think you're starting to realize who I am, Telvarni Guard. I am creating quite a stir here, says things like Kor. Well, thinks things like Kor because he doesn't want to give too much away. He's a sneaky, sneaky scholar. The sun and sky, Outlander. They're getting very we close. You warmly. I sense that the Dunmer are getting... They've never been this close before, or maybe he wants to walk up here. I I heard some Greetings, Outlander. Nope, they are getting uh, very close I there. Know you from As a Cyrodiilian, you are definitely crossing my comfort zone, but that's absolutely fine. Go ahead. I have to adapt, not you. Aaron Gear. Okay, I think you sold... You did sell potions, okay. Let's see what you have here. Um, they're not great. Fortify Magica, another one of those. I think it is as good as it gets. Restore intelligence, that's not really what we want. Okay. Thank you, Aaron Gear. I am going to just see what is possible. Let's walk up to Telnaga and. What I want to do here is, this may fail, we may fail, but things like course determined to try to see if we can't somehow waiting. get up to Master Neloth. It's just so we have every option to succeed in this. Just restore our fatigue as well, as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... We don't have enough magicka to cast a spell, but what if we fortify? I'm just gonna. S yeah, do you know what? I am just going to quick save here. What if we fortify our magicka? Which means that the whole point of buying the spell in order to um, buy less potions is kind of, you know. Yeah. It didn't work out as well as we thought. Okay, not even that. We are... Even with 50, 80 magic... Okay, so I don't under... Ah! I didn't see that there was an extra number out here. Interesting. Okay, so we have 0%. Okay. I am just blown away by how much this game wants us to actually succeed with its gameplay and how much it wants to help us. 
I completely, I either I didn't know about this or I've completely forgotten about this. There's cost and chance out here. In my mind, before I even paid attention to this, I just look at this and I see numbers and I just, nope, can't do, not interested. But this is so incredibly helpful. The percentage of chance that there is for a spell to work is listed here. How that is incredible. Very you know, numeric, but it's easy to see that obviously less touch is a spell that, that that doesn't cost a lot of magic as we will in most cases be able to in all cases be able to cast it now command creature command humanoid for, requires far more magic than we have available and therefore we have zero percent chance of casting it. greater fireball also 10 10 14 obviously sometimes we fail at casting it but if the conditions are right, I assume we'll always be able to to um, to cast it. Okay, so there's a while until we can use this, and I wonder if this was something that was stated when we purchased. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. Okay, we're trying to get away. There we go. Sorry, we'll leave immediately. Oh, was this? If this was the way that we came out, that is amazing. I I was wondering if that was a stat that is given when you are purchasing a spell we'll have to pay attention to that next time we buy a spell to see if it is that the trader is actually listing um the cost and the chance as well what was that that was us approaching iron gear don't worry we're here and we don't mean any harm so back to the whole ordeal of buying yeah of buying a levitation spell or buying our way into levitation which is um of course annoying and uh, but We'll get there eventually. And I just want to see here, like, is that a live? Do you know what we can do? I think also, this is my theory, I think getting better at a school of magic, meaning improving a particular skill, means that it'll cost less. May you find all that you see, Traveler. Thank you. Wow. Wow, they're very nice. They're extremely nice now, and... Seems like Kor feels safer here in Satrath Mora, a town that was initially hostile to him than he does in the presence of the Imperials. That has completely changed his world. He's actually in awe of how familiar and accommodating and even homely Satrath Mora feels. It's like... He suddenly found a place where he feels safe and protected for some odd reason. Um, obviously, I'm not sure that the guards will do anything if he's attacked by cliff razors or other hostiles, but for now, things are good. He's at ease. He's starting to feel that his heart is beating in synchronicity with the frequency of the ripples in the water. The waves of the coast clashing into the rocks. I don't know what I'm talking about right now, but it, the point being is that it's it's surprising how Go ahead, friendly the Dunmar are right now. Or at least the Telvani. So let's go in here. And Wolverine Hall, and let's go upstairs. So I want to see if there's anyone here who offers training in alteration. And we'll probably have to go and explore both the Mage's Guild here in Satrath Mora and also in Balmora. Well met. Greetings. And, um, yeah. I just want to check. Please, by all means. I'm listening. Uh, yes, Outlander. What I may I do? I think you offer training in Procyon. Alterations. Let's try and see what happens if we do that. And while levitate. Cost is still the same, really. 115. I'm still gonna go in and just try to ask for more training. We still have got plenty of money. Same, same cost. So I think we have to find a way to increase our magicka. There's someone That's, watching me. And I can tell. 
long way from 50 to 115 so it'll be a while before we can use this one here but let's get some training in destruction as well oh okay we're already pretty good at that who can we then go and ask for further training oh my sp <laughs> i'm sorry since i core my special services are a privilege of hiring Since we are good on cash, this is where we have to think as if we don't have cash. Will we spend the 200 now? Because the last time when we got really angry in this room, well, last time we got really angry, I think that was when it was that we had to buy Such that stuff company, back. One would be wise to listen. Exactly. Skink in tree shade. Okay. Last time we got a bit upset with Skink in Tree Shape because we found out that in order to progress we needed to pay our guild dues and apparently we don't need to do that. I need someone to escort. Okay. <clears throat> I need someone to escort the scholar Tenya Minwe. Tenya Minwe, okay. So now you are willing to give us some duties? We haven't paid our guild dues, but anyways, okay. Tenya Minwe will do that. Tenya Minwe is staying at Muriel's Corner Club. She's concerned about some trouble she had with the Telvani last night. She wants to leave Sajet Mora on the elf skiering, but is afraid to go to the docks. If you escort her to Gal's Athri's ship, I would be grateful. Okay, so we're potentially doing something that goes against the interest of the Telvani. Do you know what? Color me intrigued. Color us intrigued. We're gonna go for it. Okay, someone is in potentially in trouble Any with the Tamani. Going to um, quick save here because if we are attacked by Telvani people trying to help Tenya Minwe, then obviously we will damage our reputation because right now the people in the major skill don't know that we are helping the Tilvani and the Tilvani don't know that we are helping the major skill I assume so or that is the official story here of course so we've not been inside Dirty Murals Corner Club I think oh no we have definitely not been inside Dirty Murals Corner Club 10 right, I'm intrigued go mm. ahead we are too 10 you mean we just said that actually pre previously were you Fandis Porosius. Nice to meet you. But you're the one that we were supposed to talk to. Okay. Receive pronunciation accent coming up. Are you ready to travel together to the Tilvani docks? We are. We are here to help you. Do, do you want me to follow you? Yes, yeah, sure. F um, follow me? V very well. Take me to the elf ski ring at the Tilvani docks. Things like coal. Yes, yeah, sure. What is the elf skiering? It's Skull Arthur's ship. It's the one furthest to the west. Okay. Quite ten minutes. Wait. We'll take you there. Perfect. Okay. And obviously it is raining. Okay. So let's have a look at the elf skiering. We've been there before. It's the ship that we take regularly ourselves. Just gonna go. Maybe that was a bad idea to quick save at this moment. Interesting, nothing's happening so far. Hmm. May you find all that you we don't know, thank you. We don't know her, she is just walking behind us. Tell you mean we cannot let harm befall Tenyumin way, and we can't let our reputation be tarnished. We can't let the Talvani doubt our intentions. So let's just go and be as cautious about this as possible. Okay, we're down by the boat now. Okay. So much. There's much to learn. There is indeed. There's much to learn. Okay, the elves. Hey, wait for me. Oh, where are you? There you are. No, 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 no. You're not trapped here. Tell you mean way. 
We are not trapped here. <laughs> Maybe I could lure her down here and she would potentially walk free. Nope, that looks like an NPC trap. Oh, she's gone. Great, okay. Whew, perfect. That looked quite claustrophobic for a moment there. And, and it is the one here right ahead. You didn't need us for this turn, you mean? Well, you you're most welcome. You, you're most welcome. Thank you for taking me to the Telvani docks. No worries. Great. We hope that you have a safe journey to wherever you're fleeing to. We don't need to know where you're going. But we are on our way back to Tree and Skink Shade. Skink and Tree Shade. And we don't really like the rain, but kind of have to deal with it until we're back but yeah the mushroom towers are seeming are st do seem more like home than the um, than the imperial forts it's also the geometry is this so starkly different you have all these organic shapes that you can't really make out what the structure or the internal structure is like and then you have this very, very boxy and sharp classical European kind of fantasy setting versus this, which is just something entirely in itself. Morrowind is great for that, just very original. I like how it sidelines this with Go ahead, the fortresses here. They're quite, they're not necessarily boring, but you kind of get that it's functionalist more than anything. It's like this um, architectural style functionalism it's meant to serve the function that it is made for nothing else and that's what the design kind of tries to fulfill and there's a deeper meaning with it probably but uh, yeah well, well what have we here we greet you as a friend welcome and fellow scholar hopefully skink in tree shade right the tenure minway make it safely to the sea to the ship she did. I am glad to hear that Tanya Minwe made it to the elf ski ring safely. You have my thanks. And that is all that you have for us. Okay. We'll just see if anyone else maybe in Alrun has some training for us. Because it would be nice to progress. It really, really would. And um, especially concerning destruction. That is something that we are lacking in. Edwina, we like you. And we think you're really cool. To what do I owe this pleasure? To what do we owe this pleasure, Edwina? <coughs> Oof, Christ. Luring us into <laughs> thinking that she wants to have a chat and then she coughs. Dirt everywhere, dirt. <laughs> Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Oh, you're all very insisting. Um, we're traveler. just asking, do you fulfill any form of training? No, you don't. Okay, I don't Should think... you need something, I will be happy to oblige. I haven't much time. Yeah, let's see here. Okay, let's go in here. Barter, what do you have? Shield, 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 shield. Oh, do you have a levitation scroll, perhaps? Mark, recall. Did we not get a mark and recall spell at some point? Yes, we have Mark and Recall, what perfect. Do you want? Which we should actually test at some point. Um, interesting. Okay, so our fatigue is completely down now. So that means that the chance for us to actually successfully cast a Fireball or a Frostball or, or a Shock Ball has also increased, decreased, sorry. And not only that, let's see here. This is interesting. This I do not get. And hopefully one of you just has a bit more experience with this. The fireball and the frost ball have equal amount of chance of being cast. But the shock ball has just a little less chance of being cast. 
and they all provide the same amount of or deal the same amount of damage interesting I wonder what that's all about but it's not much but it is still noticeable and as I let the fatigue can increase so does the chance of me casting the spells as well interesting I love that that's brilliant actually I just yeah either I couldn't remember it again or I didn't know okay let's go upstairs and see if we can have training provided Aldrun has quite some large headquarters here I kind of didn't Joe didn't remember this being the case but I like it We've already chatted to you. Have you any news? None whatsoever. No, not at the moment. Hemlar, we're back here again, and we just want to check. You do not provide training. Another time. Tidings, Marsh brother. Tidings. Ah, welcome. What is it, friend? We haven't read a book in a while, also, um, but that's because we've been very busy trying to see what we could do to progress in this world I am just gonna okay now I'm faffing about again but now I just realized that it might be ideal to see if any of these people obviously we need an alchemist I think there's an apothecary here in town and also while we're at it we might as well just see if the supply chest has its content has not respawned no I'm listening Thank you, Louis. Six, six, I call. You, you're here, and well, I mean, you've returned. What news? Nothing yet, Louis, but I'm working on it. Oh, oh, of course, I understand. I understand completely. That is, you have my complete, total confidence. Thank you. And okay, let's go. Have a look. And I am also, just because I need to be good to myself, I'm going to cut this episode short. And um, depends what we're doing at the immediate time, but... Let's hit it. Care to trade? Yes, care to trade. We do indeed. We just want to see you don't have any potions we might need. And all of your potions have negative effects as well. I don't understand how you feel that like you can sell this to us, to us, of all people, of course. We're getting a bit high and mighty, but um, we do feel that we deserve better. I love that. Sorry, I'm just getting distracted. There's always something. There's someone talking to us, or there's some... But listening to the calls of animals in the distance, it's just gorgeous. Um, it really is just so atmospheric. Um, more so than many other games that have a lot more content in terms of that, like technical technicalities. But it just does a great job. Alchemist, we've been here before, haven't we? Whoa, okay, look at the layout on this. Very confusing. Have we spoken? Care to tell me yes. what this is about? Since Jeff. You sell a lot of alcohol for an alchemist, which I guess also falls within the same category, but a bit proportionally too much. And. <clears throat> Luckily, there are some good ingredients. Okay. Ash Jam, we accidentally lost. Not lost, but. One of them, we lost one of them. We did actually lose it, yeah. So we're just gonna buy that for one credit and then be on our way, thank you. And let's go out here and see what we can find. Oh, oh interesting, all these little details. You would think that this was a body part on the emperor crap when it was alive. Um. But what would it have been? Or maybe that they cut off some of the emperor crap to you to, to like incorporate it into the main architecture or the main kind of structure of it. Interesting. 
in any case, um, an anatomical study of the emperor crab would be interesting to conduct at some point. So let's go outside. I'm waiting. We're kind of faffing about again here now. I would really like to go up and say hi to Nelloth, and I think that's something that I would like to do before the episode ends. Is it is just difficult acquiring resources to levitate. And maybe... Oh, yeah. That ah, friend, how does the day greet you? Very well, thank you so much, Orent. Small for outside, where is it inside? Okay. Let's go and travel a bit. Where is oh We might as well just check out the Vivek headquarters. I don't want to we kinda wanted to save it until we go through the um experience of Vivek, the city of Vivek, because it is quite a um an overwhelming experience i would say if you ask me but let's go there and just say hi to people and see who they are and what they're about and hopefully get a levitation um, what do you call it a potion Lynette, what is it oh she's got that bug on her as well so you are flacasia <laughs> i don't know if i like this no we don't need either as well we're gonna go we'll talk another time flacasia um, we are definitely going to leave you be. And what is this special floor of Tamriel? We know that book. Kratia. Well met. Well what met. Kratia. We just want to see if... Welcome to Vivek, sings like Kor. I'm sure you have questions. What would you like to know? Barter. Perfect. And the first thing that we set our arrow upon is a levitate. So we're definitely going to go for that. You don't have another one just coincidentally? I, most alchemists don't, but we're just gonna try our luck. No, you don't. We're gonna buy that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please come again. Yeah, wow. Nice. It actually looks like a lab as well. Well, not like a lab in our world, but a lab in this world. <gasps> I remember him. I remember him. Trip. Trebonius, yes, Trebonius. I'm listening. Trebonius Atorius. Well, let's talk to the man himself. Greetings, things like Kor. I'm Archmage Trebonius, Guildmaster Vivek. Mm hmm. Hello. Could you tell us a bit about House Silvani? Hmm. You belong to House Silvani, don't you? Where do your true loyalties lie? How Silvani opposes our every effort at modernizing the way magic is practiced here in Vadenfell. Oh, sorry about that, but I'm glad that you're a little bit open-minded to the fact that we are of both factions. He hasn't kind of proposed that we be thrown out or, you know, excluded or excommunicated. But let's ask about the Mage's Guild then. The Mage's Guild is dedicated to the preservation and distribution of magical knowledge. Pursue your studies diligently, these things like core, and the benefits of belonging to the Mage's Guild will become clear to you. Um, I would like to know more about him, but it doesn't seem like I can ask more. What about advancement? In order to advance to Conjure, you must pay your guild dues of 200 septums. Will you pay your dues now? Mm. Trebonius, you put us in a difficult situation. We have the money now, but... In principle, no. You cannot advance until you pay your dues, things like court. The Mage's Guild Charter only allows us to accept Imperial Coin. We apologize for getting your hopes up, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. To Ram Gadar, hello. Look at all of these books. Thank you. A game at dinner. That is a very long book as well. Fragment on... Atium, Ateum, Artium, Arteum, Arteum. 
The Somerset Isle. Galerian. Mysticism. Mysticism is the school of... Do you know what? I'd love to actually read about mysticism because it's a school of magic that existed here in Morrowind. It existed in Oblivion. And then they took it out of Skyrim. And don't know why, but let's have a read about it. We might learn something interesting here from this book. So, <clears throat> and see how it goes with me. Um, just my brain is a little bit addled after being... Uh, yeah, just a bit, you know. I need a uh, immunity to common diseases, definitely. We all do. Well, it's called a vaccine, but regardless of it, let's go for it. <clears throat> Mysticism. The Unfathomable Voyage by Tetronius Lore. Lore. Core. Lore. Sorry, Lore. Mysticism is the school of sorcery least understood by the magical community and the most difficult to explain to novice mages. The spell effects commonly ascribed to the school of mysticism are as extravagantly disparate as soul trap, the creation of a cell that would hold a victim's spirit after death, to telekinesis, the manipulation of objects at a distance. But these effects are simply that, effects. The sorcery behind them is veiled in a mystery that goes back to the oldest civilizations of Tamriel and perhaps beyond. The Sigics of the Isle of Arteum have a different term for mysticism, the old way. The phrase becomes balked in semantic quagmire because the old way also refers to the religion and customs of the Sigics, which may or may not be part of the way of the magic of mysticism. There are few mages who devote their lives to the study of mysticism. The few schools are far more predictable and ascertainable. Mysticism seems to derive power from its conundrums and paradoxes, the acts of experimentation, no matter how objectively implemented, can influence magic by its very existence. Therefore the mystic mage must consign himself to finding dependable patterns within a rolling, a roiling imbroglio of energy. I think that's how it's pronounced. And the time it takes him to devise an enchantment with a consistent trigger and result, his peers in the other schools may have researched and documented dozens of new spells and effects. The mystic mage must thus be a patient and relatively uncompetitive philosopher. For centuries, mostly during the Second Era, Scholarly journals published theory after theory about the aspect or aspects of magicka lumped together under mysticism. In the Mages Guild tradition of finding answers to all things, respected researchers were suggested that mysticism's penultimate energy source was the Aetherius itself, or else Daedric beings of unimaginable power, either rational Either rational would explain the seemingly random figurations of mysticism. Some even ventured that mysticism arose from the unused elements of successfully or even unsuccessfully cast spells. Discussion within the Order of Sigics after a tame's reappearance has led some scholars to postulate that mysticism is less spiritual in nature as was originally supposed and that either the intellect or the emotional state of the believer is sufficient to influence its energy configuration and flow. None of these explanations is truly satisfactory taken by itself. For the beginning student of mysticism, it is best simply to learn the patterns distinguishable in the maelstrom of centuries past. The more patterns are discovered, the clearer the remaining ones become until of course they change, for inevitably they have to, and then the journey begins anew. That was a cool book. Lovely surprise. And yeah, what a weird school of magic actually. Just let's go here and have a look at what it says. The spells of the College of Mysticism. Mysticism shape and focus otherworldly forces to bind souls and gems or teleport the caster's body or manipulate 
the world with telekinesis or absorb or reflect magical energies or sense unseen objects at a distance it's kind of a mix of different other schools of magic kind of going in and out like bind souls and gems that could be conjuration teleport the caster's body um alteration or something like that manipulate the world with telekinesis also alteration absorb reflect uh, magical energies destruction sense unseen objects at a distance potentially illusion i do understand why they took mysticism and took and like incorporated many of the um, effects and spells into other schools of magic you know for skyrim and um, at the same time it also makes sense lore wisely just in terms of looking at it from the historical narrative of what happened subsequently after oblivion and morrowind so 200 years lapse between skyrim and oblivion and if you imagine that the mages guild went through a crisis after the war that happened in between uh, in during those 200 years you could also imagine that um certain schools of magic would have been lost in all of the chaos even if it was practiced widely uh, some of the people who were experts or specialists in this particular school would maybe have perished or at least prioritized other things. So um, sad, of course, also because it is, you know, the name itself, mysticism. It kind of it's meant to lure you into thinking that it's something beyond, right? Well, like, hello there. A pleasure to meet you. Like as you, last time we met each other, it was a bit unfortunate but I think things are much better between us now so could you take us to Satrith Mora if it's possible you could thank you so much okay all right I'm intrigued thank you Daniel Ariel just gonna be sure that we didn't miss anything here um, we didn't okay well, I find myself in pleasant company. Please share your thoughts. I do. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Ariel. She's um, she's actually not too bad. And um, let's go and check out the other alchemist in the city and see if they have something for... Ooh! Skelion was very close. We were very close. To you know, we went, went for the fun of it. Aye. And we survived. Well, okay. We'll let the local authorities or the agents of the local authorities just walk ahead. We won't rush anything. Okay. Let's see here what we have. Hmm. We want to get to Master Nelth before we end this episode, definitely for sure. So, while I am just considering what the time is, it's 2 a.m. at night. We certainly don't want to be sleeping out in the rain, so let's just go over and... Yeah, we will just... Do you know... Oi! We thought he was running for us. The clan. What? What? I betrayed the, pl the clan? What do you mean? Oh, maybe it's because I've been engaging with the Mages Guild. Interesting. Well, we certainly won't do that for a while. Ah, maybe that's the outcome of dealing with that quest where we helped. What was her name? Tenyaminwe? Tenyaminwe, yeah. Potentially that could have caused us to become a bit unpopular here. Okay, we've got some work to do then. And Gariel. Ooh, he really likes us. Do you need hospitality papers? Let's ask about those again. I see you already have your papers. Good. Okay. And... Just want to... Signora men. Um, do you know what? Let's just sleep here. Because I'm um, going through the hassle of... Getting a room and... Lodging ourselves in, just a lot, a lot to do. So I'm just going to take this here. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. 
oh, they're not as nice as they were before. We had a moment of them just seeing us as a fellow native or just seeing us as one of their own. And now we have sort of betrayed their trust, but that's fine. We'll get there again. Seems like Quarry's up for the challenge. Uh, it's just a matter of picking the right things to do. Apothecary. Uh, don't I know you from somewhere? You do. And it's good that you don't be remember that Thank right you. now. Okay. Uh, we just need to be sure that... Pirlet. We've just been in here talking to you, Pirlet. Definitely. So we just have one levitation spell or um, potion. That's not very helpful. Christ, okay. Mm. What we could do is just act very, very quickly when we're inside Telnaga. Do you know what? We'll try that. I think that might be good. And we'll try to drink that potion. Oh, can we just... No, we can't. We have to go around. We will go very quickly. We will drink the potion and immediately fly all the way up to Neloth. Whatever obstacle there is in our way, we'll just keep going. And I think that's going to be the best solution for now on. Because it is going to be difficult to try to keep finding potions. And that will allow us to levitate. So I think the best, our best bet is to just go in here and... Let's see here. Got zero chance of okay. Oh, okay. I am just gonna quick save, and hopefully we can get. Yeah, I'm gonna quick save, and we can always just reload if it is that we don't find what we need. But let's just hurry up immediately and try to get to Telnaga's upper tower. Okay, so here we've already been. Yes, and what was this? Oh, we need to go up, we need to go up, we need to go up. And we have already been as well. Oh, that's where we need it too. No, 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 oi! Ow! Ow! <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna reload that one. And... Tall order to ask because organizationally and also literally the wizard lords are in the top floor usually that's how it is so we just have to see if we can manage to get all the way up I'm sure we can and we will die anyways if we don't manage to survive this oh, we did okay so there he is It is unmistakable, great design. They just are so cool. And the way that he has that glowing lantern behind him just briefly made it look like an aura. That's so cool. And who are you? Varys. May you find all that you seek. Raram. That is impressive. Okay. The same to you, things like gore. Okay. What's your trade? I am a battle mage. Though, oh, we've already... Yeah, we've already <sighs> talked to a battle mage before. Okay, Neleth. Interesting to meet you. Three blessings, Sarah. Three blessings to you. Whatever you want, the answer is no. We just wanted to hear about you, maybe. Yes, yes, I am Neleth. What do you want? Um, chores? <clears throat> I have a certain interest in a robe which is in the possession of one 
entirely unworthy. This robe is known as the robe of Drake's pride. Okay, could you tell us about Drake's pride? At the present, Senise Dindo wears the robe of Drake's pride. She is a servant of Master Garthran in Tel Arun, and a mere child of 200 years. She doesn't deserve the robe. Correct this injustice and bring the robe to me, as clearly as I deserve the robe, far more than she does. That sounds like something a Tilvani would do. Say someone else has something I want, go kill them, or at least acquire that thing in some other way. I don't care how, just do it. And correct the injustice, of course. It's a personal injustice of his, not an injustice to the faction itself. Um, that's the whole thing. I think we read this as well. We'll read it again. If you steal from another Sylvan, he will still live. Then clearly you deserve whatever they stole. Whatever you stole. Murdering your opponents by magic or treachery is the traditional way of settling disputes. If you win, then clearly your argument has more merit. You may be expelled as in any other great house, but most Sylvani will not care or even know about it. Interesting. Well, um, thank you, Nelleth. Imposing, but um, also very intriguing. And what was that? What was that? Let's just see what's in here. Trapped, so don't want to touch that because that could be um, one thing here. Some doors and containers they have like ooh, they have traps on them. So when you try to interact with them, you actually get. Um, you can get, uh, you can take damage from an enchantment. Okay. Hello, Evramic Sarandis. Good day to you, things like core. I'm Evramic Sarandis. I assume you're new to Sutter Sir, Sir tomorrow. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can't get past you, if Evramic. Yeah. And let's see. Oh, there's a door going outside. Okay. Oh. What a balcony! That is impressive. And the rain just stopped as we exited. Okay. <sighs> what a view. Honestly, what a view. I'm a little bit inclined to stop here, but... Yeah. Do you know what? We've got a quest and we met Master Nelleth, which was an outcome I wanted from this episode. Master Nelleth asked us to recover the robe of the Drake's Pride. Um from Sinise, uh, there's an actor called Sinise something, Gary Sinise, that's it, yeah, from Sinise Thindo, a servant of Master Gothran. Okay, so I think that's perfect that we can go and do that in the next episode. It sounds like something that is a bit more action. We've been trying to navigate the various factions. It's been tedious, it's been confusing, but so far so good. And I will get some rest and also I have to cook dinner and I have to take the pastry sheets out of the refrigerator also in time. There might be, oi, we have a small Christmas Eve as well. So yeah, there's lots to do for me. But first and foremost, I'll take the rest to make sure that I don't get ill again. And yeah, be good to myself and yourselves out there. Be good to yourselves and also be good to your families and friends. If you are celebrating with those, I'm selling with celebrating with both which is going to be a nice cozy experience um in any case stay warm stay adventurous and uh, talk to here